Hey guys, how's it going? It's JT Judgment here, and I am finally, guys, finally back doing some more legend reviews for you guys. And I asked you guys over on Twitter, what would, what would you like to see from me today? Uh, a team of the year player review, or in fact, a legend review. And you guys came back to me uh, and said you would like to see a legend review. So today we are going to be taking a look at the 87 rated Portuguese left winger, Paulo Futre. Now, this is a guy that I really wanted to use in Ultimate Team because ever since the legends were introduced back in FIFA 14, Paulo Futre has been very, very high on the list of legends that I have enjoyed using. You know, he's always been really, really fun to use, scored some absolutely insane goals for me. And I am so glad, guys, so glad to tell you that this year is no different. I just, I just found him to be pretty much the same, you know, in terms of the amount of enjoyment I had while using him, the amount of insane goals he scored for me. Um, you know, he was just out of this world. When it comes to stats with the legend, Paulo Futre guys is card face stats 84 pace 80 shooting 78 passing 92 dribbling 28 defending 55 physical and then you look at his in-game stats guys 88 acceleration 94 agility 91 balance 82 reactions 91 ball control 94 dribbling 94 penalties and 83 crossing those are the pick of the bunch when it comes uh, to his in-game stats guys so in my personal opinion no disappointment to be had whatsoever now, when it comes to the positives and negatives that I did find uh, with this legend card, these, there's only two weaknesses that I need to find, guys, and they're pretty much the obvious ones, in my opinion, anyway. That is strength and aerial ability. Now, when it comes to, you know, the strength of Paolo Futre, he did get muscled off the ball uh, fairly easily for me, so definitely something to keep in mind if you are thinking of buying this card, and his aerial ability for me uh, wasn't the greatest as well. But when you think of a player like Paolo Futre and the uh you know the positives that he does bring to the pitch which i will get on to in just a second those weaknesses they don't really matter you know so moving on to the positives guys that i did find pretty much everything else guys he's got the five star weak foot which you like to see in pretty much anybody you know meaning he can score with his left foot just as easily with his right or with his right actually just because thinking of it paulo futre is left footed so he definitely can score goals fairly easily inside and outside the box uh, with his right foot I can tell you guys that I had no problems there shooting for me with this card was absolutely insane now for those of you that have been subscribed to the channel and have watched a lot of my reviews you will know exactly what I like to do with players and that is long shots and he scored loads for me guys Paolo Futre shot especially with his left foot from outside the box is absolutely fantastic as the goals will demonstrate for you guys uh, in this video so if you are somebody like me and like taking long shots on a regular basis then Paolo Futre definitely ticks that box his pace for me was pretty awesome as well now don't get me wrong pace in this game has always been half and half you know the way EA have designed this game pace hasn't worked the way uh, it has in previous FIFA's but you can get away with 84 pace guys he definitely felt fast in game and he outpaced a lot of defenders so in my personal opinion that box is ticked with Futre you shouldn't really have a problem there his dribbling and ball control for me wow guys I gotta go out and say he is definitely by far one of the best dribblers that I have used so far in FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. It was just so easily, given the fact that dribbling is kind of... I, I, I don't really know what word to describe dribbling in this game. A bit slower than it has been, anyway, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, 92 dribbling, guys, is definitely his best stat. Uh, and definitely one of the best things he will bring to the game. Just moving in and out of defenders fairly easily was really awesome to do with this card. And it made me enjoy using him that much more, you know? His positioning for me was absolutely outstanding. He does have high attacking work rate and low defensive work rate, which is what you want to see in a winger. Now, I did try using him as a left midfielder, left winger, and a left forward. I got to say, guys, left midfielder, he did feel a little bit wasted. Now, he did manage to bag a couple of assists for me in that position. But as soon as I moved him up to left winger, left forward, and even changing formation half time and trying him as a striker, that is where you really will get the best out of him guys so in my opinion if you want to use Futre and you want to get the best out of him definitely use him in those positions his passing for me was absolutely fantastic as well in the amount of games that I did play he almost bagged as many goals as he did assists for me 
which is absolutely insane. And when a player does that, you know you've got a good player on your hands, you know. So I gotta say, passing for me, even though it's one of his worst stats on the card. I gotta say, it's one of his best attributes, guys. So when it comes down to it, guys, final thoughts on the legend Paolo Futre. His strengths really, really, really do outweigh the weaknesses. I've got to give him a final score of nothing less than a 9.8 out of 10. If his strength was a little better in game for me, guys, and his aerial ability was slightly better, then I would definitely be giving him a full 10 out of 10 but unfortunately i did find one or two things that weren't really as good as i would like them to be with this card so i had to bring his final score uh, down just a slight but guys it doesn't take away from the fact that this card is absolutely insane if you have the coins i think for right now he's going from anywhere between 250 and 280 on the xbox obviously um so i gotta say guys definitely worth a pickup if you have not used him and you are looking to buy him for yourself so that guys is going to wrap up my legend review on the 87 rated paulo futre don't forget to drop a like down below guys if you did enjoy and this video did help you decide whether or not to go out and buy him for yourself also guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you do enjoy my reviews and you would like to see more and as always from me guys please take care of yourselves and i will see you all next time ta-da guys